Hello everybody, Hello to for Life here, bringing guys a brand new video, and today we got a look at some reimaginings of Duelist, uh, Duel Monsters era cards. Uh, this is something that Konami teased a while back, and now we're finally getting the full review reveals of the Hunter Dragon Time Magician, uh, <laughs> Harpy Lady Scratch Crash, which is such a weird name, um, and then Jinzo Lair, all reimaginings of classic monsters from the original series. I think it's hilarious that they turned Thousand Dragon into an effect monster and Time Wizard into a fusion. Uh, it's so, so funny um, with that. So, uh, just starting off with Hunter Dragon, who I, I made a joke about it on Twitter, but I'm going to say it again here. This artwork just looks like he's judging me and uh, he's getting ready to give me a huge lecture on like the basics of economics or something like you guys I, I, there's this one like super hated uh furry youtuber for good reason because he made some very 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 questionable takes uh a while back and he had a dragon as his avatar and uh, if i remember right he had a a uh, pose for the avatar as the exact same pose here <laughs> and all i can think of is that oh my god uh, it's like he's about to just give me a huge lecture and it's hilarious anyways so we got hundred dragon you know because instead of thousand dragon he's hundred dragon uh whoops uh so i guess he's younger um anyways level four wind dragon effect monster 1800 attack 1000 defense i guess he's in his teenage stage because <laughs> you got baby dragon and hundred dragon a thousand dragon i'd love like a thousand dragon archetype by the way that'd be cool uh i prefer get guardian get an archetype before hundred dragon or thousand dragon but i digress <clears throat> anyways 1800 attack 1000 defense you only use his uh, second effect once per turn First effect, once per turn, you can have this card gain levels equal to number of cards you control. And if it does, it gains 100 attack for each level gained. These level, these changes last until the end of this turn. So you can kind of make him back and do his original self or something, you know, with the Thousand Dragon. Uh, but not exactly. And then if you sent to the graveyard, you can target a face-up monster that you control that was summoned from the extract. The next time that face-up card would be destroyed by battle or card effect, it is not destroyed. Which is really cool. I like that a lot. Just being able to protect your monster, so if you use it for a fusion summon or a synchro summon or whatever, you don't have to worry about your uh, hunter dragon, uh, whatever you summon, getting killed, which is pretty cool. Um, and I think that actually might work with the Gaia stuff. I, it's been a while since I've looked at the Gaia stuff. Let's take a look. Uh, Gaia, 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 Gaia. I need to play around with Gaia. I, for, I keep meaning to, and then I forget about it. Uh, let's see here. I think this might actually work really well with the Gaia stuff. Let's see. Uh, one, ah, level, f oh, wait, but you can make him level five. Uh, does it count level, yeah, the total number of cards, so you can make him level five, and then he becomes the, uh, level you need for the new Gaia Dragon Champion. And he also just counts for Sky Galloping Gaia Dragon Champion. So, yeah, this thing works really well with the Gaia stuff. I like that. That's really cool. Protects your Gaia from getting killed. Or, even better yet, you can use a Protector Time Magician, who is a level 5 light spellcaster fusion effect monster, 2k attack, 1900 defense, needs Time Wizard plus an effect monster. Once per turn, if this card is fusion summon, you can toss a coin and call it, if you call it right, destroy as many monsters on the field as possible, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the to half the total original attack of destroyed monsters. If you called it wrong, do the same thing, but you take the damage. <laughs> um... So, this is like a buff version of Time Wizard's effect. For those who don't remember what Time Wizard does, which would be hilarious, because, uh, I mean, like, he's one of the most iconic cards from the original series. Uh, he basically does the same thing, but he only destroy it, but if you call it right, um, he destroys your opponent's monsters, and if you call it wrong, he destroys your own monsters. And if you call it right and you destroy your opponent's monsters, your opponent doesn't take any damage, but if you call it wrong, you lose your monsters and you take damage. So, the fact that they took this original idea and concept and made it into a honestly much better card is really cool. And then if you did fusion summon him using Hunter Dragon, you can use Hunter Dragon's effect to target Time Magician, use his effect, and then if you call it wrong, you don't have to worry about him getting destroyed, because he won't be destroyed by his own effect. Um, and that is really cool. I like that synergy. That's really nice. 
Of course, if you call it right and you destroy your opponent's stuff, he still won't die because, well, he <laughs> protects itself thanks to Hunter Dragon, which is really nice. I love that combination there, that synergy, which makes sense because, so, well, these are Joey cards. Moving on, we got Harpy Lady Scratch Crash. This is a Harpy Lady Synchro, and I remember when I saw this, I was like, Harpies don't have a tuner, do they? And they don't, which is interesting, which they thankfully fixed with Harpy Lady uh, Scratch Class's first effect, where uh, for the Synchro Summon, you can treat a Harpy Lady, uh, Harpy Monster you control as, tune as a tuner. So you basically can cheese her out very easily and not have to add in a stupid tuner that you don't normally want to play in it in order to play her. She's level 8, by the way. Generic summoning condition, which is really nice. 2600 attack, 1400 defense. She's treated as Harpy Lady on the field and in the grave. And when a spell or trap card is, or effect is activated, you can target a monster your opponent controls or a Harpy monster you control, return it to the hand. Honestly, I can see this card getting played in, well... And just generic synchro decks because you use their effect bounce a monster or you can bounce another harpy you control which if you happen to have i believe it's divine wind of mist valley uh divine wind you can then summon out another dude from your deck which is really cool although divine wind's at one so that's probably not going to be as relevant but still really nice so i really like that being able to do that that's really really cool uh, so yeah, just a general once per turn bounce is really really nice And I think that people might actually tinker around with this. It's just a generic synchro Then we got Jinzo Lair. He's a rank 6 dark machine effect monster uh, 2400 attack 15 our defense. I forgot to mention he's like C's, but that's obvious really awesome artwork here I love it. It's so cool uh, 2400 1500 uh, same stats as the regular Jinzo two level 6 monsters to make so again generic you can only use this first and second effect once per turn. You can detach material from this card and target a face up monster. Your opponent controls. Gain control of that monster until the end phase, but it cannot activate its effects, nor can it attack. If there is a trap card on the field, you contribute a monster, and if you do, destroy a face up card on the field. So I don't really get where the whole taking control of an opponent's monster thing came out of uh, with Jinzo, but I like it. It's an interesting thing and kind of, I guess, plays up with the whole idea of him being like a uh, Esper kind of thing, which is really cool. And then, of course, you get a bonus effect if you have if there's a trap on the field, which, again, is really nice. Now, Jinzo, unfortunately, doesn't have an archetypal trap card or anything. Um, it, it's also, like, honestly, menacing Jinzo makes so much more sense now. Uh, but, however, they do have some pretty interesting stuff. Uh, so, the Jinzo archetypes come in together pretty nice. I feel like there's still a lot that really needs to come up for it. Um, there is, however, a trap card that was technically made for them. Um, let's see if I can find it. It's called like Psychic Shockwave or something like that. Yeah, there it is. Psychic, a psychic Shockwave. Why is that so hard for me to say? You can actually see Jinzo in the artwork. <laughs> you can only activate it when your opponent activates a trap card. Discard a spell or trap card. And then special summon a level 6 Dark Machine type monster from your deck. Again, this is a Jinzo trap card. Just not in Jinzo name. Which is really cool. But uh, not a face-up trap card. Oh wait, if there is a trap card on the field. How, how do you verify that? Like, it doesn't say face up. <laughs> so, that is interesting. It, it, it's obviously intended to be face up, but, like, uh, that could lead in some interesting rolling decisions. So, uh, that is it for, like, new stuff. There is some other stuff that's been announced, so might as well just take a look at it real quick. Um, I wasn't really originally planning on talking about these, but we got the new Dragoonity Drive uh, structure act announced, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Rustle Red Eye stuff, which, oh my god, okay, if there's one thing about Rustle that I really like, it's the design of the cards in terms of their artwork. I'm not a big fan of the actual layout of the cards. I think it looks very childish, <laughs> in all honesty. Like, it's so simplified. Um, but, however, because of how big the picture is and because they're using this as, like, a chance to update cards and everything, um, look at this update for the artwork of Inferno Fire Blast. It's so... So much more detailed and cool looking. Same thing with the new artwork for Red Eyes. I mean, it's the same as the original, but it's just updated to be more detailed. Same thing with Red Eyes Black Chick. Look at that. <laughs> it's so much more detailed. He, he's not just in a dark area like he used to be. I think, uh, yeah, like Red Eyes. Wasn't he like just in a plain black room or something like originally? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. See, he's, he's just not in like a particular space, and now he's like actually like. Oh, yeah, he's a baby black dragon. Um, 
And then also, this is a really cool thing. Uh, we are getting the Astral Language Utopia. So, uh, I didn't notice they actually made a full language for the Numerons in Sexel. Uh, and they are just going to... Th this is going to be tournament legal, by the way. Uh, this is going to get printed. Uh, so far, we only know about it in Japan in their collection pack. So, hopefully, we get this in our Battles of Legend. Which, I mean, their collector's pack is our Battles of Legend. Um, and, or rather, our, ba our Battles of Legend is their collector's pack. And... So hopefully this gets printed in there for us, which would be really cool. Because look at this. So this is Torment Lego, by the way. This is a artificial language. It's so, so cool. Somebody actually went and translated everything. Um, I mean, obviously, everybody knows what Utopia does. But, like, somebody actually went and started, like, putting together a uh, alphabet and everything for it. Um, like, for instance, with these, these are the numbers. And it's like a, it's a, like, ten pointed wheel and the uh there's like a star next to where um their number is on the wheel which is really cool and then like <laughs> you can obviously tell that's u-t-o-p-i-a i love it and i love the symbol for the light i i is it so we just got all the numbers finally printed can we get this like for all the numbers like could you imagine like a whole set being released for all the all where all 107 numbers Plus, like, maybe the four fake numbers um, can get printed in the astral language. That'd be so cool. <laughs> I would love this. Uh, I'm, you know, if this doesn't get printed in TCG, I'm going to be very sad. I'm probably going to pick it up no matter what because it's so, so cool. Um, but, yeah, it's it's Torment Legal. You just got to make sure you have a, uh, like, correct copy, <laughs> regular copy to use just in case you don't get roll sharked. So that is really, really cool. I mean... Nobody's playing regular Utopia just for his effects, but everybody's playing him just to summon into, like, lightning or something. So, that is really, really nice. I love it. Hopefully, we do get more of them in this. It's a really cool thing. So, what do you guys think about all these new cards? Personally, I'm really hyped up for the, uh... I mean, it, it's... Who knows when we're gonna get these, but they're promos, they're cool. I especially really like the Harpy Lady card. I feel like she's the best one for the um, deck in general, for like all the de all their decks in general. Um, the Th the Hundred Dragon is really nice for Gaia, and I'm probably gonna test it out in Gaia now because holy crap, it's a really good target. So, anyways, guys, what do you guys think? Thank you all for watching. Have a good day. It's your birthday, happy birthday, and see y'all later. Peace out. Thank you all for watching the video. Have a great day. It's your birthday, happy birthday. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and see y'all later.